Hello, my name is Dr. Chad Zadina. I'm a mixed animal veterinarian at Frontier Vet Clinic in Cheyenne, Wyoming, as well as co-inventor of the Jacobs Neuter Forcep. I'd like to begin by giving you a little bit of background on the video and technique you're about to see, since most small practitioners are probably not familiar with the following technique. Our tool, the Jacobs Neuter Forcep, is based on a, an existing technique for you, that's used in large animals called the Henderson Castration Tool, and it's been in use for approximately 17 years. And the benefits of using this technique over traditional methods have been a decrease in post-operative bleeding and a decrease in post-operative swelling. Because of its success, we have decided to take this tool and adapt it down to, for, down to size for use in small animals, in particular dogs and cats. In our practice, we've used it on over 150 small animals, ranging in size from 3 pounds all the way up to 150 pounds. The benefits that we've seen are a complete elimination at this point uh, of the common post-operative complications that are seen, such as excessive post-operative bleeding, internal suture reaction, or scrotal hematomas. So in addition to the obvious surgical benefits, we've also experienced economic benefits in this practice. The first economic benefit we've seen is decreasing the cost of suture material by about 90%. We've done this by using synthetic PDS suture on a reel and have been able to you know, pay for a tool and pay for the suture pack within about 10 surgeries. In addition to economic benefit, we've also noticed economic, or economic savings in time because in this business, as you know, time is money. We've been able to take the procedure down from you know, 10 to 15 minutes on the average surgeon to about 4 minutes, which is a savings of about 70%. So I hope you enjoy the video, and if you have any questions or would like to purchase a tool, please contact Sontech Instruments directly on SontechInstruments.com or inquire with your local sales rep. Thank you. While setting up for the surgery, have a technician drop the non-sterile drill into a sterile drill shroud in order to maintain the sterile field. This, the castration procedure is then initiated in standard fashion and also performed in a closed manner, meaning that the vaginal tunic should remain intact around each testicle. This is a very important point, as the vaginal tunic provides the strength necessary for adequate twisting and subsequent hemostasis to occur. We have found it to be more efficient to exteriorize both testicles at the same time versus separately. You will notice that the surgeon in the video inadvertently creates an open castration. In the event that this occurs, simply grab a hemostat from the surgery pack and place it just below the testicle in the area where the vaginal tunic remains and then proceed with the, with the castration procedure. Once both testicles are exteriorized, take the Jacobs neuter forcep and clamp it just below each testicle and apply slight back pressure as this will ensure that the surgical drape and surrounding materials do not become entwined in the tool. If you have a variable speed drill, start slow and then slightly speed up until the spermatic cord severs. After the castration is complete, inspect for any signs of excessive hemorrhage. As you'll see from the video, the only source of hemorrhage is the skin incision. Uh, for completing the procedure, go ahead and close the incision with a simple continuous two-layer closure. At our practice, as mentioned before, we started using 2 ot PDS on a reel, which has, has uh, not caused us any issues and has actually saved us about 90% on suture materials for each procedure with the cost going from $8 down to $0.60. Cents.
Just a shot of the completed procedure. As you'll notice, there's a very clean surgical site with no bleeding. And then here's a shot of the PDS on a reel that we've been using. And I do appreciate you viewing this video. And if you have any questions, once again, contact Sontech directly or your local sales rep. Thank you.